All right, so this information is going to help you, you know, prep for the Nello's pizza task. And it's really dealing with rates and how you can use them to make good decisions, solve problems, etc. All right, so let's check it out. All right, so when we're talking about rates, we're saying like miles per hour, cost per ounce, frames per second. So you know what the per is when you see that per? Didn't mean to change that. So the per usually is talking about some type of division. So frames divided by seconds, cost divided by ounces, etc. All right, so we have a question. Let's say we're going to buy some Coca-Cola at the store and we want to figure out, you know, which one's the best value, what should we what should we uh purchase. So here you go. So we've got these two options. So we have a 12 pack and a 35 pack. And these are the prices that are given. And sometimes underneath, if you pay attention when you're shopping, it'll give the per unit of whatever it is. It might say how much it costs per ounce. Usually it does just so that people aren't having to go there and do a lot of calculations. But it's nice to be able to do it ourselves if it's not provided. So what we could do is we could we could do it by ounces or actually because both of these are in terms of cans if i was in the store i would probably figure out how much it costs per can that would just be more user friendly in this case so i would take my costs and i would say all right i've got a cost of four dollars and 89 cents and then i would just divide by however many cans come in the pack so divided by 12 cans and then that would give me how much it costs per can. So it's 489 divided by 12. That means it costs 0. 0.4075, which means it's about it's about 41, get rounded up, almost 41 cents is how much it is per can. Okay. Or 0. 0.41 dollars per can, however you like. Okay. And then over here, let's do it. Sorry, I sort of changed my my units a little bit there. I'll keep them consistent. So it's 0 0.41 and then divided by cans. All right. So then over here, same thing, we're going to take the 1142 and we're going to divide that by the number of cans. So in this case, 35. So 35 cans. That's going to give us the cost per can. So 11.42 divided by 35. So I get about 0.32, looks like 6. So I would round it. This is how much it is per can so we'd say like what about 30 about 33 cents a can right so say about so it looks like it's a little cheaper to go for the bigger pack in this case the 35 can pack and let's look at it in terms of ounces so if we were doing same problem we could take the 489 and we could divide it by the total number of ounces. So there's 12 ounces or 12 cans and each of the cans has 12 ounces. So this would be really 4 489. Uh, my little thing's not working. Come on, you little rascal. 480 Oh man. 489 divided by, and it would be total number of ounces. So total number of ounces is 144, and that's where we would get that decimal. And then similarly, similarly for the bigger pack, it would be 12 ounces times 35 cans. So then this would be 1142 divided by, and what's 12 times 35? So that's 420, and this is 420 ounces. So this is a dollar amount divided by the ounces, 
and that's where we get this decimal. So you can see that this one is a smaller number, so it's cheaper per ounce. Uh, can you think of why you might still want to get the 12-pack? I mean, there could be a number of reasons why you still want to get the 12-pack over the big one. So sometimes I'll buy a 12-pack, I don't want to buy the big one because I don't have the space for it for storage, or I just don't need that many right now. So, uh, Or maybe I just don't have the money. Even though it's cheaper per ounce, I just don't have enough money right now to get the bigger pack. So there are a lot of reasons why you could choose still to get the 12-pack over the 35-pack. But the bigger one is a better deal. All right, so let's say we're shopping for pizza so we're trying to figure out which one we which one would be a better deal so they at peter piper let's say they have a personal pan pizza that costs 559 and then they have a large pizza that's 1799 which one's a better deal in other words which one kind of gives you more pizza you know for the price so uh, we can figure out you know we can kind of do it either way we can say more pizza per dollar or we can say put the dollar amount and put it, you know, over the, over the square inches of pizza. Um, but let's go ahead and figure out first the, the area of each of these, the area of each of these pizzas. So this part, I'm going to go ahead and just go to sort of what's done and I'll just highlight it because we already have figured out for, well, I definitely want to mention that that whenever they say pizza sizes, they're usually giving you the diameters. They're usually not giving you the radius of the pizza, you know, so seven inch, seven inches in diameter, 14 inches in diameter. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out the area. So this is utilizing our skills from the past of figuring out basically just the area of a circle. So pi r squared. So one of the, the smaller personal pan, it had a diameter of seven. So that means the radius is 3.5. So it's going to be pi r squared, so pi times 3.5 squared gives us about 38.5 square inches. And then for the bigger pizza, it had a diameter of 14, so the radius was 7. So pi times 7 squared, we got that for the area. So then we would just take those areas and we would just divide by... I'm sorry, we would take the money and we would divide it by the area. So money divided by area makes a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have the money here for the smaller one, the personal pan. Is okay, so we're going to have the cost of the personal pan, which is $5.59. And we're going to divide that by the area. And that's going to give us 0.15 uh, dollars, you know, per square inch. And then we're going to do the same with the large pizza. We're going to take its price, which is $17.99, and we're going to divide by the area of the pizza, which is 153.9 square inches. And that gives us the cost, you know, per square inch. And of course, we're going to take the lower cost. That means it's cheaper. So that's this one. Bigger pizza is a better deal in this case. It's usually the case, not always, but they usually encourage you to buy, you know, more pizza, so they make it a little better deal. All right, came across this one. This is a would you rather. So you're at the pizza place for lunch, and you see these signs. You're with a couple of your friends, so three total people. You all want the same thing. You all want, you know, a pizza to eat. So what would you rather do? Would you rather order three pizzas on three separate checks or would you order all the pizzas on one check and then you guys worry about just splitting the cost afterwards? So just pause the video and just think about it. Look at the signs. All right. Well, if you decided that you were going to just order yourselves, uh, you've got to kind of, you know, put a number to the price. So let's just say that a cost of a pizza, just so we're not dealing with too many variables, let's say the pizza costs $10. Okay, so 10 bucks per pizza. And, and let's say we're just decide we're going to do option A. 
So you're all gonna have separate checks. If you have separate checks, you're gonna get this discount. That's a 10% discount. So 10% of $10, if you're not able to figure that's just a dollar off, but you can always do 10 times 0 0.10. That gives you the percent. So, and that turns out to be one, okay? 1.1.0 1 or just one. So $1 off, that's your discount. Okay, one dollar off. So that means the price of the pizza is nine dollars. So they're nine dollars each, and you're all gonna get a pizza. So that means it's gonna cost you guys twenty-seven bucks total. Okay, let's say you come over to the option B, and it says if you order three pies, pies or pizzas, right? So if you order three pizzas, you get 30% off. Okay, so it still costs $10 a pizza. So $10, you got three pizzas, so that's gonna be $30, but you get 30% off. So you can multiply that by 0 0.30, figure out how much the discount is. So that turns out to be $9. So we have a $9 discount. Last time we only had a dollar discount per, per pizza. So now we have $9 total. So we take our $30, we subtract our $9 discount, only cost $21 total, and then we would divide that by three for each of us, figure out how much we each would pay, and we only pay seven bucks. So it's better to pay separately. I'm sorry, it's better to um, get one big check and then split it because of this incentive, this 30% off, all right? All right, that should prep you pretty well. I was gonna tackle this one, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that. So good luck.